Hey guys, Jake, Jayco Back Knives. Wanted to give you a rundown on how to do a tool length offset and load a tool manually in a Kitamira 3XI with a spark changer. Uh, it is running the Fanuc 16IM control, which I think pretty much all the Series 16i uh, controls will work the same. I think M is a mid-year change or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but at any rate, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to load the tool height offset for tool 10. Um, I already manually put tool 10 in, but let me give you a rundown on how to do that, and uh, we'll kind of go from there. Um, so, first thing, obviously, you want to do is uh, just get the Z-axis up to... Uh, it's zero or home position so I just moved it down to pull, put, jog it off the limit switch as I said already I've got tool 10 loaded in the spindle but I'm going to show you how to do it anyway so you can just come up MDI mode just type in G28 G91 Z0 end of block insert you'll see it come up right there there's your end of block Z0, G91, G28, hit cycle start, put your rapid at like 25 or 1%, I'll just turn it to 1% so you can see this thing move, or not, I'll turn it to 25, it moves up, now it's homed. Okay, now you can do tool changes, um, so let's just do, you know, just a tool change manually. Just MDI, just so you know how to do it. Uh, first thing you do is obviously make sure you're in MDI mode. We already took it to our G28 Z0. Uh, so now you just type in like, say, tool five, M6, and a block insert. Now what it's gonna do? Blocks the spindle, swaps in tool five shows tool 5 is in the spindle there's actually nothing in there because I didn't have anything in the carousel now it actually loaded tool 10 into tool 5 spot but you know I don't care because I know that I just wanted to show you how to do a manual tool change so now I'm gonna call tool 10 back up tool 10 so T 10 M 6 and a block insert cycle start Tool 10 is in there. It's a quarter inch reamer. And now we're gonna set the tool height offset. Uh, so, like I said, I have got my height indicator in there right now. Tool 10 is in the spindle. In order to manually put that tool in the spindle, you have to be in manual mode or handle mode. Then you hit that button right there, put the tool in the spindle, rotate it until it engages the Cat 40 dogs, or the dogs in the spindle. Release the button, the draw bar draws it in, and you're good to go. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna have to, this will be a little bit tricky because I have to work the jog shuttle controller, which is right here. And you can see that it's on because the green light is on. Um, and I also have the main camera, so I am going to open up the tripod and hopefully you'll be able to see what I am doing here. And hopefully I can see what I'm doing. So, I'm gonna jog down. I'm gonna be in, I'm in times 100 mode just to get it down there. And then I'll just come down until I hit my zero and go past and then I'm gonna rotate back to one that's tenths increments that's just how I prefer to do it get that to focus again and then I'm gonna back up until I'm zero carefully set the pendant down because you don't want to mess that up. 
that you can see that I'm zeroed. Okay, close the door. Zoom the camera back out. And carefully make sure you set that down and don't touch the pendant. Uh, now I'm gonna go to MDI mode so I don't have to worry about messing anything up. I'm gonna hit offsets. Get my stinking camera to focus. Okay, now I'm gonna scroll down. Um, okay, so you have your control panel and then you have your soft keys. You're always gonna wanna make sure you're in offset mode here. Um, you can go in your work offset, that's your G54 through G59. We want to be in offset, which is your tool offsets. And then you want to scroll down to offset number 10. Okay, now, this is the confusing part because I'm looking here and there is nothing. It's like, okay, how in the world do I zero this? Okay, so hit Z. And then you hit input C right here. And if you watch tool number 10, voila, now it says 0.212, or 0 0.2121, there we go. That's probably a better way to put that. Now, that's not right. That just measures from the home position, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so now I know that it's actually three inches off the top of my subplate. So now I wanna come in and I wanna go minus 3.2. Zero. The point zero is important. And then you add plus input. Now we know that it's minus 2.7879 off of that subplate. I can't fully explain this because maybe I'm a moron. I don't know. But I know that this works. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to work, but it's a minus offset. Um, now, that tool is set. I, I set the height of my fixture with tool one. So if I go and, okay, so I know that this tool is good to go. I can load it in the carousel. So I'm gonna go over to program. I'm gonna say G28, G91, Z0, tool one. Cancel that, Z0, in a block insert, tool one, M6, oops, too many M's there, M6, in a block insert. I'm gonna slow my rapids down in case I mess something up. Hit cycle start, and if you watch the control, it's gonna raise up. And it's gonna do a tool change to tool one. Tool one, for me, it's just a really long 3 8 reamer. Um, so if I go back over to manual mode, go inside, you can see tool one is in there. It's just a really long reamer. And what I will do is I will jog that tool down to the top of the part with my height indicator on there and I will zero that and I will put my offset for tool one at zero. So now when I go and I zero that on my fixture or my subplate or whatever, all the other tools are relative to tool number one. So basically, tool one is long. I just choose a long tool because I know it'll reach inside of pockets and stuff like that if I want to zero anywhere I want it to. Um, I drop it in there and I zero it. The machine is zeroed out and then all the other tools are relative to that tool. Um, so that's how I do it. It may not be the best way. You know, you're welcome to give me a rundown or a point out to another video here on YouTube or wherever that can give me a better way to do this or faster. Um, I know that there are ways that you can come in and uh, uh, do a tool height offset from home position. You could just hit it and it'll automatically do the tool change to the next tool in the carousel. 
um, and then you know it does all the G28. It, it swaps tools and then you just run it down, zero it, hit the button, and it does it again automatically. For whatever reason, I have not been able to get that to work correctly on this machine, so I just do everything manually. It takes a few extra minutes, but it works, and I know it works. And there's something to be said about something that works. And when you live way out in the mountains and you don't have anybody that can just come by and show you how to do it, because I'm a very visual learner, you know, it's the easiest way to do it uh, for me right now. Uh, so I'm always welcome to uh, constructive criticism and or somebody who knows how to do it better than I do, but that's how it works for me. Um, so again, if you have any questions, you know, put something in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. Kinemira is awesome.